excellent training and judgment and adherence to training and legal standards to ensure that our community is always treated with respect, even in difficult circumstances. Thank you. Thank you again. At uh, this time, we would like to welcome the mayor of Big Rapids, um, Mr. Thomas Hoggison. So uh, let's receive him at this time. Thank you so much, and thank you for putting this together. It's a heroic effort. It's very much appreciated uh, in the community. Uh, I can't address police behavior as Director Borkovich did. I can, I can only tell you that he's not alone in feeling how he's feeling. I'm sorry about that ringing. It must be me. But I do know that part of what positions our society for crimes of this nature is our failure for hundreds of years to deal with societal inequity, and that's, what I, that's my topic for today. You don't have to join me, but the flag's right over there. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Remember that last phrase. As Americans, we have a notion of what constitutes justice. It does not include dying on the street of your town at the hand of a hostile person sworn to protect you. We view this death... <laughs> we view this death with outrage and we ask why one of us must suffer this yet again. As Americans, we're taught our rights and privileges under the Constitution of the United States. But we also know that in many respects, these gifts are given selectively and are often not received in equal measure by key segments of our society. As Americans, we learn that we have the right to elect representatives, to see that our needs and aspirations are included when the laws that govern our society are enacted. We are sometimes dismayed that suppression of these rights seems to be deliberately and selectively applied and that our thoughts may not be equitably shared when the rule book is written. If we're Americans of African descent, the laws handed down seem to be written by a different hand and interpreted by a different mind than those that apply to the larger population. And we believe that this is because we are seen as different, dangerous, or somehow flawed. If we are Americans of African descent, we cannot afford to trust assumptions about our safety and our opportunities, about how others sense our dignity, and we cannot join our society with the same graceful presumption of a proud history as those who are more favored and privileged. So today I propose to you that if we all want to believe in the pride of our nation, and really celebrate the promise of its founding spirit, we must understand that the past, including slavery and Jim Crow in particular, is an intruder who continues to haunt the halls of our sacred family home, for that is what America is and what it should be. Today I suggest that you and I vow to reject the worn out toxic narratives, that's just how it is, get real, nothing's gonna change, that persist merely to deprive some of us of our birthright, our liberties, and our dignity. Today, I urge that we join together to channel the anger we feel at the violent act we all witnessed into some positive form, each of us, all of us, which can result in some kind of meaningful progress and help us shed the burden of bias and mistrust, which will inevitably otherwise continue to keep us from sharing in the benefits of our society. We need to get it as a nation that we truly do share our fates and that we really do stand and fall together. So what to do? Can we vote for candidates who make changes? We better. Can we run for office? I think so, I did it. 
Can we teach the children to respect and value equally the same and the different? Can we honor the hard work and commitment of those who help move our community forward? Can we see that discrimination and the exaggeration of differences is getting in our way as a nation? Can we see that it is poison? Can we reject these notions in favor of a shared effort and better outcomes for our society? I think we can. So finally, we must, uh, must we let our collective anger boil up again, cool down again, become a sad and pointless backdrop to daily life again? Because it's done that many times. If we truly seek a higher purpose together, why can't we look to the light of understanding, reason, and mutual respect and work together to gather that light and reflect it on those we love and work toward a more just society? Thank you. Thank you again, Mr. Mayor. At this time, I ask that you join me as we, before we begin our march towards flight, I would like to start this march off in a word of prayer. O oh, most gracious and heavenly eternal Father, we petition your throne of grace this afternoon asking that you grant us, O oh God, a vision of the world as your love would see fit, a world where the weak are protected and none go hungry or poor, a world where the riches of creation are shared amongst all and everyone can enjoy them. A world where different races and cultures can live in harmony and mutual respect. A world where peace is built with justice and justice is guided by love. Oh Lord, we ask that you create a world where racism is no more. Oh Lord, I ask that you touch each and every person who is under the sound of my voice that is here today. I ask that you allow the love to grow over the hatred that may be within their hearts. Oh Lord, I ask that you provide love over this city, provide love over this campus, oh Lord. Oh Lord, we pray for the family of those who have been lost to racism and police brutality, oh Lord. We ask that you touch their families, oh Lord. Find, allow them to find comfort in knowing that a piece of them still lives within their heart on today. Though their body may have been, ta may have been taken, their spirit still lives. Oh Lord, we ask for justice, we ask for peace. These things we do pray in your most holy name, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So at this time, we will prepare. So I will go ahead and then behind, we will have the banner. And then we can form a formulated line and we will march in a diangle, um, in an angle towards Timmy Center. Um, you could just follow the line. And then from there, we will hear from our pre the president of Fair State. Thank you.
is enough. Enough 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 is enough. Say their name. 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 We won't forget. We won't forget. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I stand for justice. I stand for justice. I stand for peace. I stand for peace. I stand for love. I stand for love. I stand for peace. I stand for peace. Enough is enough. 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 Black lives matter. 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 Enough is enough. 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 I stand for justice. I stand for justice. I stand for peace. I stand for peace. I stand for justice. I stand for peace. I stand for peace. Black lives matter. 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 Don't shoot. 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 We stand for peace. 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 End of the hate. End of the hate. End the hate. End the hate. End the hate. End the hate. We stand for justice. We stand for justice. We stand for peace. We stand for peace. We stand for justice. We stand for justice. We stand for peace. We stand for peace. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Enough is enough. 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 We stand for justice. We stand for justice. We stand for peace. We stand for peace. We stand for justice. We stand for justice. We stand for peace. We stand for peace. I know, man. Take a break. Once we get our okay. No, I want it for you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a natural born leader in that guy. I know, right? No doubt in my mind. I know it. Yep. We won't be silent. 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 You will hear our voice. You will hear our voice. You will hear our voice. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Black lives matter. 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 Stand for justice. We stand for peace. We stand for peace. We stand for justice. We stand for justice. We stand for peace. We stand for peace. Enough is enough. 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 Together we stand. 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 Stand it for peace. We stand for peace. We stand for peace. We stand for justice. We stand for justice. We stand for peace. We stand for peace. We stand for justice. We stand for justice. We stand for peace. We stand for peace. We stand for justice. We stand for justice. We stand for peace. We stand for peace. Enough is enough. 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 Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter.
sat around, sat around and said, wait for time. The time is now. Yeah. He also talked about the appalling silence. I wish he were here today to see and hear each of you because we are not silent today. We are here. We're here to make a difference. Enough is enough. All right, now at this time, we also have some student representation that would like to say a few words. I feel like it is important that my fellow students Absolutely. are allowed to, allow to let their voice be heard on today. Absolutely. Absolutely. So first, we will have a poem. We're signing the poem written by the remarkable late Dr. Maya Angelo, Still I Rise. Mm. Let's welcome Ferris State student. Come on here. out very very well today it's called I'm still here I've been scarred and battered my hopes and dreams have been shattered snowed and frizz me sun them baked me but it didn't feel like these people don't try to make me stop laughing stop living stop loving but I don't care I'm still here I'm still here this world is about perception what do they perceive me as when I walk out the door? A villain? A crook? A thug? It's perception. Man, I'm up here, and I appreciate everybody that come at, came out today. It hurts me in my heart. It hurts a lot of people out here. This is what we have to wake up to every day. Every day. It's like going to a buffet and they telling us we ain't got no food. As we seeing them serve other people. Mm -hmm. That's how we feel every day. 
And then we go to Ferris State University, up in Big Rapids, Michigan, that I didn't even know that existed before I got here. <laughs> Every day, this is how we feel. So when you see another black person walk into class, and they might have a grin on their face, no, we're not mad. This is how we feel every day. It hurts. It hurts. These tears coming out my eyes because this is how I feel. You tell a dog he's a bad dog, and what is he going to turn into? You know, like as a man who works with kids, I know you don't call a kid a bad kid every day because that's what he's going to turn into. But you treat us like criminals every day. You look at us like crooks every day and expect us to, to rise to the higher power and be better and turn the other cheek every day. I appreciate the time that Mo gave me. I appreciate the time that y'all gave me. That's all I have to say. At this time, we will have a member of the Diversity and, and Pharmacy Organization here at Ferris State, Sherelle Williams. Uh, hello, everybody. I just wanted to take some time. I won't, I won't be long. Um, we are at the university, right? Yes. This is PWI, right? So, be the change you wish to see. Right? Yes. Be the change you wish to see. Okay, Ghani. So that means that you want me to take action to make the changes that I want to see in the world. You want me to make sure generations after me won't have to deal with the same things that I did. Mm. Our ancestors took the first stance, but this is our turn. Yes, yes. That's right. That's right. Racism didn't just go away, it doesn't just go away. <laughs> Hate showed up with this last presidential election. We have to make ourselves heard. You can't be the lab mouse that society wants black people to be. It's like they are okay with us being here as long as we don't make any noise. Not happening. Not happening. Not happening. Why is it so hard to get financial help for black students? They expect us to come from these families that pay for their kids' tuition. They expect us to come from two-parent homes with generational wealth. Well, most of us don't. Mm. You give us TIF funding just to let us get an associate's degree. But if we want a bachelor's degree, we have to struggle the whole way and risk failing classes just to pay for bills. Below, below and behold, if we want to get a master's or a doctoral degree, you make it even harder to get any help. It's like you don't want us to get a higher education. I can't give the government my parents' financial info in order to be considered in financial need. I don't even know one of my parents. I don't even know one of my parents. So that means that I don't deserve any help. To the government, I'm sorry that the crack that you put into our neighborhoods in the 80s took so many of our Going on. 
Oh, you yeah. can know what type of candidates are out there, what they're standing for, to make sure that they're representing what we represent. Okay? Yes. Yeah. I am tired of police brutality. I am tired of being ignored. I am tired. Period. Okay? What do we want? And what do we want it? What do we want? You know what? 
I have something to say, say as well then. You know, sometimes it can hurt the honey. Mm -hmm. The reality that we live in a world full of carnage. Mm -hmm. I mean, society just continues to tarnish. Yes. How can our teachers that's teaching our kids to be great can barely manage to put a meal on their plate? Mm -hmm. Just barely making up a minimum wage, huh? Mm -hmm. What's up with me? How can a white officer kill a black man in his very own home? But then later on, the black man is betrayed as the problem. You let him hear. Now, XLC can't even watch it. Show me that's a solution. But it shows that black is still looked as pollution. Mm -hmm. I'm from the D. Uh -huh. But I still be making Illinois. Because yeah. I know that my people, they still need a voice. Yeah. Yeah. Especially our young girls and boys. I'm talking about the concept of the double consciousness, yeah. which is a term concerning. The internal conflict where one's identity is divided. Because the way we look at ourselves and the way you look at us is divided. Mm. And sadly, as a race, since we were no longer considered slaves, since women were making more jobs, finding more jobs than the men, the black man became enraged and instead of embracing, we hated our own women. The same ones that carry and birth our own children. Trying to follow a European example has tarnished the black family mantle. Eventually, welfare was used to get the black man out of his home. But yet we blame our sisters for raising our young boys on their own. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the media portrays us as savages and thugs. They try to play the perception in your mind that all black kids do is first block. They try to function as a black man. Yeah. I'm yeah. taking it as a joke. Yes. My brothers and sisters, it's time that we as a people became woke. Death of a bondage. Life over carnage. It's said how folk will take ignorance rather than knowledge. Society would rather give us drugs over college because they don't want to see young black folks possible. Mm. AKs come from Russia. Coke comes from Peru. Mm. So tell me who sounds like a drug dealer to you. Stay woke. Well, yeah. well, President Obama couldn't even sneeze, but yet 45 is allowed to take millions in his tweets. Stay woke. Stay well, why is there so many obstacles trying to keep certain people from casting a vote? Stay woke. They raise millions for a war, but we're not raising for print. I guess society doesn't care if our children's water is filled with. Stay woke. Hundreds of years ago, they took our ancestors and piled them up on the boat. But I declare on this day, on this day, that there's one thing they'll never be able to take away from the souls of black folk. And that's hope. Stay woke. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. Say their name. Say their name. Say their name. Say their name. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives. They matter. Um, is Leonardo Almanza um, in the crowd here today? Um, we have another student, Leo, for um, a representative of Sigma Lambda Beta Fraternity Incorporated. And he's going to come and say a few words for us right now. Everyone, everyone, please give another round of applause for Mr. Byron Brooks. Oh You know, I was very hesitant about coming back up here. Uh, I had a conversation with Mr. Byron Brooks, um, and I said he asked me if I wanted to speak. And I said I didn't want to originally because, you know, it's his culture, it's everyone's culture like that. And he told me, he was like, the only way we can make change here is if we all have our cultures here. Regardless if you're black, white, brown, yellow, orange. Yeah. We have to make change. You see, ladies and gentlemen, when we have love, look around you. No, take a second. Take a second. Look around you. Look at all the people around here. We're living in history, ladies and gentlemen. History. History. We're going to look back at this in 20 years. And you guys are going to see the change we make. It won't be tomorrow. It won't be next week. 
a month, but down the line, five, ten years, I promise you, with all with all of our voices together, we're gonna make change, ladies and gentlemen. I, I mean that. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I myself and my I myself and a minority. You know, I can't I can't I, I can't feel your guys' pain. You know, I'm not black, I'm brown. But regardless, I feel you guys, and I truly feel you guys. And for all the white people here, I mean no disrespect whatsoever. Whatsoever. You guys are vulnerable right now, but that's because you guys are here to get educated. Amen. Remember that. Amen. No, just because you feel uncomfortable right now, because you feel uncomfortable right now, that's okay. That is okay, ladies and gentlemen. You're uncomfortable for a reason because you're changing. Amen. You're looking at the culture, you're seeing our eyes, our view, and that is okay. And I really hope after today you guys truly truly see what African Americans have been feeling for the past 40, 50, 200 years. 200 years plus. 400 years plus. 400. And, you know, I didn't come here with the speech. I just came here to speak from my heart. I came here to speak from my heart. And it is okay for change, ladies and gentlemen. It is okay. You guys are all here to get educated. Every single one of you are here to get educated. There's about at least 300, 400 people here. After today, you guys are gonna speak about this with one other person. That's 800 people right there, ladies and gentlemen. Change, is, change takes time, but when change happens, it's for good reasons. And this is because of today. It's because of stuff like this today, protests around the nation. Oh, yesterday, every single state in America was protesting for this exact reason. Change is coming, ladies and gentlemen. I mean that. It takes time. I promise you it will happen. Just take time. Thank you. At this time, we have a member of the African Student Union Affairs Day. We have Miss Patience at this time. Take your time, 
I'm just going to read off a list of names, a list of people that had their lives, that had opportunities taken away from them because they didn't stop to think about their actions. When many of us don't have to, although we should, Christian Cooper, he couldn't go bird watching. Mr. Boffman Sean, he couldn't relax in the comfort of his own home. Jonathan Farrell, he couldn't ask for help after being in a car crash. Stefan Clark, he couldn't have a cell phone on him. And I see many of you guys here today enjoying the luxury of holding your cell phones and of live streaming and taking photos and documenting today. Jordan Edwards could not leave a party. Jordan Davis could not play his music loud. Anaya Jones, she couldn't sleep. Mike Brown couldn't walk to the corner store. Trayvon Martin couldn't walk home with skittles in his pocket. Sean Bell couldn't hold a hairbrush while leaving their, their own bachelor party. Oscar Grant couldn't party on New Year's Eve. Sandra Bland couldn't get a traffic ticket. Corey Jones couldn't break down a public road with car problems. John, per John Crawford couldn't shop at Walmart. Terrence Crutcher couldn't have a disabled vehicle. Kenneth Scott couldn't read a book in his own car. Clifford Glover couldn't be a 10-year-old walking with his grandfather. Claudia Reeves couldn't decorate for a party. Randy Evans couldn't ask a cop a question. Yvonne Smallwood couldn't cash a check in peace. And my brothers, Prince, Liverpool, Robert, Arthur, Jeff, my nephews, Emmanuel, Kingston, Jeremiah, Arthur, they all are scared for their lives. They all don't know what the future holds for them. That's not okay. I want them to have a bright future. I want them to be able to attend college and have the opportunities that I'm able to enjoy. I don't want them to think twice when they're going out to play with their friends. You know, if they can talk to someone, if they can do what they want to do. So please, for their sake and for my sake, show love, show compassion, and show humanity. member of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated here at Fair State University. Can 
everybody hear me? Can everybody hear me? Right, how y'all doing? My name is Dion Harris. I'm a member of Phi Beta Sigma here at Ferris State University. Now, uh, I really don't even know how to work one of these, so I'm not going to speak for too long. But all I want to say is, honestly, I'm not going to talk too much because if you're here right now, you're not the problem. I mean, honestly, if you're here right now, you, you, you identify that there's something wrong. Something wrong that's going on, and you want to take a stance against what's going on. And that's all it is. That's, that's all that we want to do. We want to be heard. Over the years and years of police brutality, we, we have plenty peaceful protests, plenty uh, kneelings and marches and all type of activities that we've done down the street that, that, we, that we, we try for a long time for our voice to be heard. That's the moral story. And I don't want to say it. Our principles at Five Base Sigma, we believe in brotherhood, scholarship, and service. Now, I'm just a young kid from the east side of Detroit. I came to school for criminal justice. I believe in I believe in helping out the community. I believe that the system isn't isn't just for us to be to be targeted. It's for, it's for humanity, as in all races. The, the whole point of the police system is to help each other out and help our community so we all can become better as one. Now, brotherhood, that, that, that isn't shared. All right. Brotherhood, is, it's not between one race. And it's not, and actually it's not just brotherhood, it's brotherhood, it's sisterhood, it's everyone coming together as one, as humanity. Like our motto says, culture for service and service for humanity. That's taking our culture, our knowledge, the things that we know, and provide service for humanity, which is all, not one race, not, not, not one group, not one class, it's humanity, all, us all as people, as we all should be treated equal. And, that, and that's one of our biggest, our biggest things. And also, is to be inclusive instead of exclusive, which means no one should feel better than anyone. <laughs> no one should ever feel better than anyone. We all bleed the same, we all breathe the same. <laughs> so so as, I just wanted to just share a couple of our principles and how, we sh and how we live. I'm not telling nobody how they should live, but at the end of the day, we all won. We're, we're one race. We're not, we're not one race, we're all different races. Let's just be real. <laughs> but, we, but we are humanity. You know what I'm saying? We're all people, we're all the same, and everyone should be treated the same, and no one should be treated differently because of a class, because of, because of their race, their skin color. Then that, we all one. So treat others as you want to be treated. And You can't hear me? I feel like yelling, because I don't need to hear you. I right, only got a couple more words, so I'm going to try to perfect this real fast, but at the end of the day, we're all one. We should be inclusive instead of exclusive, and we should all treat each other the same as we want each other to treat us, our brothers, our sisters, our mothers, our daughters, uh, our grandfathers. Everyone should be treated as an equal, inclusive instead of exclusive, and use your knowledge and provide it to others. Because what's the point of having knowledge if you can't provide it to others? You know what I'm saying? So, everyone stick with the brothers and sisters and stay blessed. At this time, we have somebody else who traveled a nice little way. We have, we have Sparkle all the way from Central Michigan University. Here to say a few words as well. Well, hello there, Phil Rip. How are you doing? What's going on? I feel the love. I feel the love. God is good. God is good all the time. All the time, what? God is good. All the time, what? God is good. Abide above all these things. 
This is our land too, and it's on the back, back of black flags that the yes. White House was built. We built this country too, and together we can live together. So what I need you guys to do is vote, let your voice be heard, get these racists and these prejudices out of office. It's yes. For years and years and years, this has been a problem. It's a saying that can't nobody stand on your back unless you bent over. And this is the time when we gotta stand up. It's easier said than done. Everybody here can be considered part of the solution, but this is only phase one. It needs to be more than five phases to be successful. Now I get it, everywhere else is not like this. We tearing up our own community, we looting, we stealing, we killing our own people, but I like this. See, this, this is gonna speak volumes more than anything else can. And I appreciate that. And I just wanna say on behalf of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, Data Beta Chapter that was founded here at Ferris, we appreciate y'all, we stand with y'all, and understand that this is only phase one, and we gonna be here for phase one, Two, three, and infinity and beyond. I appreciate y'all. Living in the land of the free. Whereas an African American, you really ain't free. We get diversity, inclusion, but no equity. And the land where people try to pretend to be me, huh? 
I just want my 40 acres and a mule. Amen. I just want to send some kids up to school. I'm on soul. Remember that name. And don't allow anyone to make you a slave. It's time to lift every voice and sing. Tell our children that we come for kings and queens. And it's time that we love all of our women. And help our neighborhoods rise from poverty. I'm just spreading knowledge. Yeah, I'm on my hustle. The marathon continues. So I'm on my hustle. Huh? Just a kid from the air. All I ever needed was a pin in the pack. And I just wait until I go crazy. I'm Roscoe and Joessa's baby. But don't think that you can ever play me. For reparations on how you can pay me. Look, life for me is full of surprises. Christmas and birthdays, they never got me excited. Music was the only thing that got my heart reunited. It was like a, like a fat kid in his cake reunited. See, I was once lost, looking in every direction. Needed a shoulder to cry on, just a little affection. They try to tell a black man that he can't cry. But they're sitting wondering why the black man's ready to die. Mm. 400 years of oppression. But yet we still try to bottle up our aggression. That's too much pent up depression and it is caused a mental recession. They try to shut up our daughters when they scream black girl magic. But our stagnant when our black girls are victim of human traffic, huh? Yeah, I think I said something. Yeah. You know, Dr. King had a dream that flowed into a generational stream. Wait, stop. Do you hear the screams of my black brothers and sisters on the ground as they bleed? Huh? The king had a dream that we would let freedom ring. Wait, do you hear that sound in the wind? The moles of our ancestors as the wind pierced through their skin? Mm -hmm. Huh? Dr. King had a dream, and Obama was able to live it. Dr. King had a dream, but does it still resonate through your spirit? Huh? Dr. King had a dream that all will be equal. And on this day, here in 2020, here at Big Rapids, Michigan, on the campus of Ferris State University, I challenge each and every one of you to stand as agents of change, as love triumphs over evil. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Enough is enough. Within our hearts still burn for social justice. 
So we're asking everybody to just take the candle and hold it up. You can light it when you get home, baby. You know it's dark in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure Because 
Even if you leave from these grounds, you're still connected to this movement. And we, will, we refuse to feed into the narrative that media tries to portray us. This is a peaceful protest. We will not lose. We will not destroy. But we will stand. And you can cash that to the bank. May God bless you. May he keep you. All our black lives. Take some water and stay. You're not taking this off. Take some for your friends too.